Hi, I'm Dr. Phil Gilman, and I'm the owner of LifeSpring Wellness Center in Bloomington, Minnesota. And I am a published thyroid researcher. I've spent 30 years working with patients that have low thyroid dysfunction. So what I'd like to do today is to talk about low thyroid dysfunction and why many of you that are watching this have been frustrated because your low thyroid symptoms just don't seem to be helped by whatever you've been trying. So let's get started. So in order to understand thyroid, we first have to establish some real basics, and that is what I call foundational health. Now there are some very critical foundational aspects that are important, and, and here's what I mean by this. How do you know if you're healthy? Well, you know what most people say is how you feel, okay? Now, I will acknowledge that how you feel is important for health, but it's not the only way we can evaluate how your health is. For example, have you ever known of somebody or heard of someone that was healthy and all of a sudden they had a heart attack and you just saw them a couple days ago and they just seemed normal? Were they healthy a couple days ago? Well, no, they weren't. So they may have felt just fine a couple of days ago, but then they had a heart attack. So they weren't healthy, even though they felt good. I'm sure we've all had experiences like that. Or somebody that you've known, you saw, and soon after that you heard they had cancer, and a few months down the road they were really sick. Well, they felt good at a certain time. So we can't judge our health by just how we feel. So what's more important? is how our body functions. So function is more important than feeling. <clears throat> so for example, with your immune system, let's say if your immune system was functioning at 100%, could you get sick? Could you get cancer if your immune system was functioning at 100%? No, you couldn't. It'd be impossible. <clears throat> Why is that? That's because your immune system its job is to find cancer cells and destroy them. So if it's working at 100%, you could never get cancer. Now here's the, here's the key though. How many of us function at 100% all the time? Well, we don't. Now let's say we go down to 90%. Well, then maybe we catch a cold or the flu, but then we get over it soon. So in order for your body to get sick, it has to lose its function. And let's just say by the time it gets to 60%, you get a symptom, okay? So what is a symptom, really? A symptom is telling you that your body's not functioning right. It's kind of like the oil light in your car. Your oil light comes on because it's an alarm system. Or a fire alarm comes on because it's, a, it's an alarm system. Now, if your oil light comes on in your car, what are you going to do? Are you going to pull into the service station, have the mechanic come out, look at it and say, I know what you can do. We can put some duct tape over that. So you put duct tape over the, the red light. You don't see it anymore. You could take off, right? Well, we kind of think that's crazy. That doesn't make much sense. But what do we do when we get a symptom, which is a warning? that something's not working right. Well, most of us in the U.S. go and get a drug for it, a prescription drug. Now, prescription drugs have been proven through research to knock out symptoms. So you have a headache drug, a, a acid indigestion drug, you got a pain drug, and they actually do work well most of the time because they've been proven to do that. So, if you take a drug that knocks out your symptom, what happens to the function in your body? Yeah, you're right. It doesn't do much for it. So, what happens is your body's still not functioning right. Now you get a second symptom. And now let's say you get acid indigestion. Okay? And what do you take for that? Let's say you go and get some Prilosec. And what does Prilosec do? It knocks out your symptom. Now your body still isn't functioning properly. 
So now you go and let's say you get some elbow pain and you go to the doctor and they say you got you know elbow pain like that golfer on TV you know that takes what is it embryo it takes embryo for that he's got that joint pain and of course it knocks out the joint pain but have you heard what it says don't take this drug if you have TV why because your immune system is so suppressed because of the drug that you'll die from the infection. Don't take this if you have a virus. Why? Because you're going to get really sick. If you take this, you can get cancer. Why? It knocks your immune system out. So in other words, once you start taking some of these drugs, then what's going to happen is you're going to get a side effect from it. Now you need a drug for the side effect. But here's my point. What's actually happening with all this? You're taking drugs to knock out symptoms. You're putting duct tape over the oil light. What's it going to do for the problem? Not much, right? And so what we can conclude from this is that all drugs, by definition, are toxins and poisons. And can you poison yourself back to health? You can't. So what's more important is let's find out why your body is not functioning properly. And once we can figure out why it's not functioning properly, then we can apply what's necessary to get function back. And so that's what we do in our office. We find out where you're not functioning properly. How do we do that? Well, there are various tests that we do. I mean, there are blood tests and various other tests you can do to determine function. And once we have determined function, we ask you questions, we have questionnaires, then we can determine what's going on. So for example, if you have a thyroid, a low thyroid, we need to find out where and why your body isn't functioning properly. So that's what we do. All right, you know, so if this made sense to you, what I would recommend is you come to a seminar that I give. Uh, I give a seminar that's at no charge and I'm going to spend about an hour at the seminar and I'm going to be talking about the seven different types of low thyroid dysfunction. So by the end of the talk, you will have a pretty good understanding of where you fall, especially for those of you that haven't gotten results with the type of care that you've received. Now I have 30 years of experience, so I have, I have determined where and why you don't get the results that you'd like to get. So ultimately, if you want to have more joy, more energy, and more focus in your life, sign up for my seminar, come to my seminar, listen to what I have to say, and then see if it makes sense to you. So I'll see you at my next seminar. Give us a call. 952-300-2260. Thanks.